Libra the Divine Soul, how are you? My name is Vince and welcome to 7D Tarot. Today I will channel some messages for you and if they resonate, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with your angels and me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now for a totally fresh perspective catered towards us empaths, check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. You can find her info in the description box. Now let's dive right in Libra and see what messages we have for you. So we got the star two of swords. Look at that eight of wands and the queen of wands. There is a big realization that's going to lead to a major event coming into your life. This event is going to be life changing and I even see the possibility of travel. But in order for it to happen, you have to let go of fear and anxiety and listen to your intuition from the, which is really your past experiences. So understand there's a big realization coming, a aha moment, some clarity that you've been waiting for that's going to lead to a major event, right? You're going to be like, ah, oh, shoot, I should have been doing this this whole time. Now you're going to do it and you're going to get success from it. This could be romantic or this could be business, right? So expect this download from spirit. In order for it to happen, there's no other way, right? You have to tap into the frequency of what you're looking for and let go, let go of that fear and anxiety, blindfolding your intuition from getting it. If you want to tap into abundance, you cannot be in fear. It doesn't work like that. You have to let go of fear, tap into abundance, and then that download will come. So your angels and guides, they're just like, oh, all we're looking for is for Libra to let go of this fear, come meet us in the abundance realm, and then we can just tell Libra what to do, how to get rich, how to find your soulmate. It's all here for you. They want to help you, but they can't interfere in your life, right? Because of free will, your angels and guides cannot make you do something to tap into that frequency. It doesn't work like that. So understand the turbulence will be over, your life will get better, and to understand that you've paid your dues, you have experience now, you did not waste time, you know what not to do and what to do, and everything will become effortless for you now. So right now, there is going to get an aha moment clarity coming into your life. In order to hear this message, you have to be able to hear your guides, right? Your guides are going to be trying to speak to you, but they can't because it's so loud. Now, you're blasting music. What is this music? Thoughts. When you are thinking, 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 you can't hear a word they have to say. That's why if you go look around, you know, ask your, ask why your neighbors, your coworkers, your friends, why are they not, don't they have inner peace? Why aren't they, you know, uh, financially where they wanna be or why aren't they, you know, spiritually where they wanna be, right? What, the, what, what do they all have in common, right? Or what don't they have in common, which is tapping into their higher self. The moment you start tapping, look at the card that came out. The moment you start tapping into the higher self, look what happens for you. That is it, that 10 of cups, that's that inner peace. That's that life's purpose. That's that true tranquility, that harmony, that, that, that really that motivating factor, that monetizing your passion, like everything you're looking for, it's right here for you, but it connects with your higher self. It goes hand in hand, right? When you don't resist anything, you don't resist everything. So right now it's like, your angels and guides want to speak to you. We have to take your foot off the gas to hear what they have to say. Now, how do you take your foot off the gas, which is the question, right? So imagine you're driving for 16 hours out the day, full blast. Foot's on the gas, just the engine just going, right? Now imagine how hot that engine gets. Now imagine taking your foot off the gas for just five minutes. When that engine gets five minutes of, of time to cool down, then it's going to make a huge difference, right? How do you take your foot off the gas? Meditate for five minutes. Five minutes. Now, why do I say five minutes? Because it's an easy number to wrap your head around, right? If I would have said 15, 20, an hour, it would have been more difficult. But I want to explain to you how five minutes is better than nothing. And that engine, right, taking your foot off the gas for five minutes, it will cool down. That's what you're looking for. You're just waiting for a moment so your, your engine cools down. Then the downloads come. Do this, do that. Here's where your soulmate is. Go here, go there. It all comes like that. But because we're so caught up in a stimulated, fearful state of this matrix, constantly bombarded with fear and anxiety, doubt, worry, jealousy, envy, animosity, pain, all the human filters that we all go through from our human experiences, our ego has control and prevents this from happening. So right now, if you're waiting for that big realization that's going to lead to that big life-changing event in your life, you have to understand that you have to get out of your comfort zone in order to manifest it, right? How do you get out of your comfort zone? How do you become more decisive? By having the confidence that you need to do so. Be confident in the fact of knowing that this works, right? For example, you may be asking yourself, oh, 
you know, what do I do? I don't know where to start, right? Very fair. Well, right now, you have the heads up. I would not waste a second of your time if I wasn't 100% certain this works. This is the law of attraction, law of assumption, quantified magnetic measurable energy that is not hocus pocus, guys. This is actually how it works. Law of gravity, real. You can't see, touch it, or taste it, but it's real. Law of attraction, it is 100% real. Check out Dr. Joe Dispenza. There's 5,000 studies, measurable studies uh, done. How they can measure your magnetic energy. It's not hocus pocus. This is the difference between someone who life is just effortless, someone who always gets a job, someone who just always finds someone to date, and someone who is struggling. That's all it is, it's vibrations and frequencies. Now look at this. Death card, four of cups, queen of swords, and the eight of cups. This is what you're looking for right here. Major, major changes needed. That change first and foremost is being grateful for what we have and walking away from the feeling of wanting, needing, and then um, wishing and hoping, and instead taking charge. So right now, understand that it is essential to close a chapter on being not grateful for what we have, which is very normal. We all go through this and start being grateful. So why would we not be grateful? Maybe you're telling us Stuff. Oh, I've been stuck in this job forever. When am I going to get that promotion, right? Fair, but understand that that does not help us. You have to tell yourself, I am so grateful to have a job. I'm so grateful to be able to wake up, go somewhere, pay the bills. I'm so grateful to have something to do so I don't lose my mind, right? When you look at it from that glass half full perspective, what happened is you're telling spirit, spirit, I know how to play this game, wink, wink. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Spirit goes, ah, Libra, well done. You do know how to play this game. All right, in that case, let's bring some opportunities into your life. This is how it works. This whole thing is a game, this whole thing is a movie. So you feeding your soul, walking away from old beliefs, old way of thinking, and really boring energy at the same old, same old, is how you attract what you're looking for. So understand, this is your movie, this is your show. You can do this. This is something that comes effortless for you, but you have to believe in yourself. You really have to want this. You really have to understand that there's more here for you. You have to understand that everyone is rooting for you. No one's going to gain you. The universe is your best friend. The universe is your cheerleader. The universe is your bodyguard. The universe is a genie in the sky saying, your wish is my command. Now, the best part is unlimited amount of wishes, but the part you have to be aware of is that you wish your, your wish is my command goes both ways. So make sure your wish is something that you is going to help you in your life, right? That is very, very important. It doesn't mean you're going to wish for something bad, but don't feel something bad because that is how you make your wish. It's not by articulating it, using your vocabulary, but it's actually by feeling it, right? Now the chariot, Hierophant, the fool, king of pentacles. Spirit is telling you right now, tap into your spiritual side, get yourself grounded, get the confidence you need to take the leap of faith in your new adventures that are coming and get yourself back on track. So if you wanna be able to dive in with both feet, if you're tired of resisting, if you're tired of second guessing yourself, doubting yourself, being uncertain, and you just want to just Dive in, you just want to do stuff. You just want to break free from what you're doing and get on track. The only way to do so, there's only one way guys, you have to tap into your spiritual side. When we think of spirituality, we always think of someone that is kind of just like, you know, not the very not practical, right? We think of someone who's just connected to spirit and they work for the church or they work, you know, it's just the 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 stereo the stereotypical brainwashing that's been given to us in movies is that this person does not care about being successful, all they care about is spirit. No, no, no. I am someone who owns multiple Amazon businesses. Being successful, success to me is measured in many, many different ways, but also I believe that you have to financially be able to take care of yourself and your people because in this third dimension we got bills to pay right and the currency of life to me is time in order to have time I need to be able to pay off my bills to be able to you know do stuff that I want so trust me when I tell you that I am connected to spirit like you wouldn't believe every single thing I do is based around being grounded being in alignment and flowing and I also have multiple businesses that I water every single day and my garden grows so if take one look at me do I look like I am a monk 
Do you know what I mean? Which is nothing wrong with being a monk. But do I look like I work in the church? There's nothing wrong with working in the church. I look like your everyday person, swagged out, about to do my thing, right? I believe in spirit. This is who you are. This is the new generation of spirit. This is what's going to take you where you got to go. It's being connected to spirit is cool. We make this look cool. This is who you are. Believe in yourself. This is what your angels and guides want you to believe in. Understand that everyone's rooting for you and understand that what I'm talking about is not just for a select few, privileged few. No, this is for you. You are meant for this. This is your birthright. Own it. Wear that crown. Bring that happiness to you because it is your birthright. All right, Libra, hope you enjoyed your reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, subscribe, and comment. I can't wait to hear from you. Till then, I'll say bye. Bubble chat to